Today we're going to talk about the Saturday Shrug prefer my preferred bind off which is a tubular bind off sewn with Kitchener stitch. So what that looks like is it's a very stretchy bind off like this. You can also see that the rib just sort of rolls over to the other side. So it is an opportunity with this this accessory to just practice a new technique. Of course, do you have to? Absolutely not. It's completely your choice. But what's fun if you take on a little project like this is to learn something new. And the, the shrug itself is so fast, I think these finishing details are a nice way to um, just create a really special garment. These fibers are so lovely that we're working here with the lamb and kid. So I want to, you know, absolutely enjoy every moment with them. So taking the time to do this cast off is not a problem for me. But again, do whatever you'd like. But to do this, you'll need a, a tapestry needle and then you'll need an extra circular needle. If I did this on nines, I can use another nine or anything smaller than a nine, but don't use something larger than, a, than the needle size that you knit your shrug on. Okay, let's get started. So to do the bind off, you're going to do two setup rows. On the first Saturday shrug that we did, I believe it was 11 rows of 10. And so at the very last section, you would, you would knit and purl as normal the rib you would do eight rows of it. And then for the ninth and the 10th one, you would do the setup row and then bind off. In this particular variation, I, I mean, I'll just talk you through what I did here. It's a little different. This is 28 rows. And then these are fours and sevens, all the way up fours and sevens. And then this is 14. So I have just completed 12 rounds and I'm on my 13th and I'm going to do the setup row. And what that looks like is just slipping um, half the stitches twice. So the first time around, I like to slip the uh, knits. So I put my yarn in the back and I slip the knit and I purl the purl. Slip the knit and purl the purl. And I do that all the way around. Okay, so I've done my first setup row of slipping uh, the knits and holding the yarn in back and knitting the purls. And now I'm going to knit on my second setup row, I'm going to knit the knits, slip the purls with the yarn in front. So I knit that stitch, I bring the yarn to the front, I slip purl wise, bring the yarn to the back and knit. And I do this all the way around like that, slipping the pearls with the yarn in front and knitting the knit stitch. Okay, so when I come to the last purl stitch, I don't actually slip that one. I go ahead and purl that stitch. And then I'm ready to put these stitches onto two needles. My second needle needs to be smaller or the same size. So I'll remove my beginning of the round marker and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to slip all these stitches onto two needles. So this is my original needle and this is my new needle and I'll put my, doesn't matter, I'm gonna just, just be consistent. I'm gonna put my knits in the front and my pearls in the, on the back needle. So I slip them pearl-wise, all of them. So here's a knit, here's a pearl, here's a knit, here's a pearl. Knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit. Making sure I get both strands. So we're gonna divide all the knits will be on the front needle that you have to have the knits on the front needle and the pearls on the back needle. 
and we'll go all the way around and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we're coming to the end, slipping the knits into the front, the pearls into the back needle, knit into the front, purl into the back needle. And here's my working yarn. And then I'm going to be using these tips. So I need to pull those, the different length cords, but I need to just kind of pull them so that I can use them. Okay, they're ready to go, and there's my working yarn. And then I need to give myself, um, I need to break the yarn. And to determine the how much yarn I use, I usually think, okay, it's, it's about th this diameter. And then I triple that. So I'll take it and I'll go, there's one, and there's two. And I'm going to just break the yarn and like that. Then I'll get a needle and we will Kitchener bind off. Okay, so the very first stitch, of course, you want to pull this tight because this will be loose here and you're going to want to pull it tight. And the very first two stitches are different. They're just setups. So I put the yarn in as if to purl. So I'll put my needle in from back to front as if to purl. And this, I want to pull that tight. And then in this back one, I'm going to put it in as if to knit. So that means I go in from uh, the right side of the leg to the back as if to knit. And I just pull it through. And then all the rest of the stitches except the last one are going to be identical. And it's this little rhythm you get in your head, which is knit off purl on. So I go, I knit off. So I put my needle in as if to knit this front one. The front stitch is what I do first. So I knit it off and then I purl on. So I put my needle in as if to purl and I don't pull it off. So that's knit, knit off, purl on, and then, and I give it, you know, I don't pull it too tight, but I make sure it's secure. Then this back needle is purl off, so I go in purl-wise from the back to the front. I purl it off the needle and I knit on, which means I put my, um, what is this called, tapestry needle in from on the right side from the front to the back, so I'm knitting on. Okay. So, and you can see what that created right there, but I'm going to do it again. So I knit off, purl on. And yes, all this thread is the thing people don't like about this bind off. Purl off, back needle, purl off, knit on. Okay, but, and I always just keep feeling it. Do you see how it's starting to create this nice, like, rolling edge? Let's do a few more together. Knit off, purl on. That's your mantra. Knit off, purl on. Then purl off, knit on. Okay, and you decide how tight to pull it by looking right behind you and feeling it with your fingers as you go. You're monitoring this and going, is this too tight or too loose? How does it look visually? N knit off, purl on. I would never walk away, I guess. I would always do this whole thing at one fell swoop, but also I try to do like the complete, because if I pick it up here and I go, what am I doing? Well, I'm in the front, so that means I need to go to the back. So that means I'll purl off and knit on. Okay. 
and you see this beautiful edge that we're forming. Let's just do one more together. Here we go. Knit off, purl on. Purl off, knit on. And again, check as you go to make sure you like what how this is feeling, that it's not too tight and not too loose. And we'll go all the way around and I'll show you what to do at the end. Also, this is, you see how that's one and that's two? So this is two right here. Four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, which was what I wanted. So this little thing counts as two. I don't know why I want to keep counting it over and over again to prove it. But two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Just so that you have control of your width when you're doing this particular bind off. You might want to test it midway, you know, is this stretchy? This is less stretchy than the bottom one. Well, I don't know, they're fairly comfortable. But anyways, you just want to make sure that it has a good amount of stretch. Do you see that? As you go. Okay, so we're approaching the end, and I'm just a review. I'm knitting off and purling on, and then I'm purling off and knitting on the back needle. The front needle, I knit off, I purl on, and I just keep checking as I go. Just purl off, knit on. Pearl, knit off, purl on, purl off, knit on, and this is where it somewhat seems maybe slightly confusing. So I knit off and I purl on, I purl off. And I knit on, let's get in there, knit on, okay, and then I knit off, and I purl off, and I bring my yarn through like that. And then I secure these stitches into these stitches here to bind that together. So I'll turn it to the back side and I will want to make sure that it's, you know, nice and secure there. And I don't have a magical way of weaving in my ends. I. At this point, I'm just going to go like this, kind of snake it around this. You can see how my tail is, uh, I'll go all the way down just to be secure. I have just enough yarn though, and that tail was again three times the dimension of my shrug plus extra. That's how I estimate it. Three times, I suppose, the circumference of the shrug. And call that a day. Okay, and that is the bind off.